Here we're going to save this file as the link architect architectural plan. So let's save it. File save and then let's close it. Then we are going to open a new project using the metric before. So here we're going to use the space naming tool and screen. And let's see the difference between the room name and space name if we use it in the mechanical plan. So here we're going to click to book the Revit file which we have in the desktop and it's called project architecture. Here click open origin to origin here we have it on the top now let's have it we can select it okay. it's because of the link you cannot select it yeah so let's have this screen so you can you cannot accidentally do it and now we can use the space naming tool and schedule to name all these following the architectural name or room name so let's go to analyze and let's go to space here we can have a space in upper limit is level 2 and let's see to see click apply so we can select the name first we need to we cannot place the space and it's not bounding into the link architectural files is because we haven't up, uh, created the or checked the room bounding properties in the link file. So let's select the link file and here if you go to edit, you can check this room bounding, click apply and then click. Now, still in the pin. We can still select it. Let's apply the space here now. Once we have activated the room bounding properties of the room, we can automatically get whatever uh, space and area we have in the previous uh, architectural file. So let's set it to level 2 and let's set it to limit of 0. So it's full cool height, same as what we have done in the architectural files. Here we can add the space. Space, 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 space. Now let's say we want to click follow the naming of the room from the architectural plan. Let's select the room naming. Here, names and number, you will be given the option. You can also select only the names and the numbers only. Or let's select the names and number. Select all levels, or you can have a specific level. Select level one. Click OK. Click OK. Now let's. We have all the space now, and we have to create a space tag. Here there is a sample space tag. You can edit it. We can show the space number. And you can show the area or you can also show the space name. So we can actually edit it if you want. Or we can just use it first. Copy this one. This is the same. So we're it is actually following the same name and numbering as per the actual architecture. Here, if you want to set and see the floor area, we can edit this space tag. So we can also show the floor area, which is quite useful for us in pulling the calculation, especially in the mechanical system. Here we will have the square meter, square meter. We can set it into English method. Now let's go and make a schedule for this if we want the tabulation of the room and the area and the water. Click schedule. Here we only need to show the mechanical side because we are working on the mechanical template now. Let's select spaces. 
here we can select the name of the room or name of the space number of the space level if we have any additional floor level we can also have the area and we can assign an area per person if you want to we can also place the volume and you can still add a lot of uh, available fields or data that you would like to include in your schedule click ok then the space schedule will come out here office one space one means we have duplicated the space one so let's delete this field because this is we have two spaces placed on that particular room so let's just delete this row in the middle so now we can actually here it's the uh, so that is how to use the space tool in the analyze tab in the mechanical template so remember when you're in the architectural template you have to use the room room and room template while in the mechanical electrical or other services mechanical services or electrical services you have to use the space and space naming to copy the names from the architectural link into your mechanical template or mechanical project thank you